92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings, second date update. The guy on the phone for a second date update today seems to know why his date went wrong. Mm. He says it's because he sort of kind of catfished her. What? Not really, but he kind of catfished her. Uh, is there, yeah, is there let, a kind of yeah. of that? I'll let him explain. <laughs> Daniel, what's up? How are you? Hey, how you doing? Not too yeah. bad. So you sort of catfished your date? I guess you could say that. Uh, I met her on a, a, a dating app, and we ended up going out to lunch. I guess the background real quick is just that I am about 60 pounds heavier than, like, my photo on there. Oh, okay. okay. So you've gained some weight since posting your photo, or you chose a skinny photo to post. Well, I actually gained a bunch of weight because I had to move back home with my mom. I mean, that's, like, a long story, but she's just, like, heavy butter cooker, like, just... Yeah, right. <laughs> I feel you right. on that. I do too, though. Yeah. I, I was gain weight when I visited uh-huh. my parents. <laughs> but you didn't update your picture with the weight gain. Well, the thing is, I, I didn't want to post a picture of me like heavy. Just that would not be getting me very many swipes. So mm-hmm. I, uh, you know, I just figured that I would be getting rid of that weight, which is what I told her when I met her. And it's true. Like I've been <laughs> on a diet, like no carbs, just like, you know, trying to get rid of this weight and, you know, that I'm not going to look like this in a few months. Okay. I get that. Okay. It's like the same reason I keep my skinny jeans, even though I can't fit into them. Eventually. <laughs> They'll still work. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) All right. What's her name, by the way? Her name's Kristen. Kristen. Okay. And you said that you explained that to her. So obviously you felt self-conscious when you showed up. You're like, I know I'm going to look different than my picture. Yes. So I was pretty upfront about that. And that seemed to be okay. What was her reaction? It was chill. Like she wasn't like mad and she didn't seem genuinely upset. Maybe a little surprised, but you know, it seemed okay. She didn't, like, body shame you and walk out of the... <laughs> you chubby mother. Yeah. No, she's a really nice person, and I don't think particularly, like, shallow. So I think that was really cool. Okay, cool. so tell us about the date then. How was it? Well, since I just told her about how I'm on this diet, I felt like I had to order a salad, you know? Mm-hmm. So what ended up happening was that she had ordered, like, this chicken parm sandwich, mm. and... When the food came, she went to the bathroom, Mm -hmm. and I just, I don't know, I hadn't had, like, a carb in, like, three days or something. The chicken parm just looked so good, so I was just thinking I could just take, like, a nibble or something. No! (laughs) You ate her sandwich? I just took a bite, and then that was just the best thing I'd ever tasted in my life. So, like, I had, like, another (laughs) bite or or three. Oh, no, you couldn't stop, dude. Oh, my God! She came back yeah. to the table and half her food was gone. Well, I like realized before she got back, so I flagged down the waiter and they had a soup and half a sandwich special for lunch. I was like, can you bring soup real quick? So thinking maybe that she would think that they brought that special and it was just half a sandwich. <laughs> oh my God. Helping. To... <laughs> I'm going to say that's a actually genius that's cover up. smart, yeah. <laughs> it was a pretty good idea. So he brought the soup and she came back and... She didn't seem to notice anything, I didn't think. Okay. Oh, nice. Well, how, how did every... How, was the conversation good and everything else? Honestly, after, like, I had that half sandwich, I felt, like, better than I'd felt in days. And oh, my God. <laughs> the conversation was great, and we had a great time. And, I mean, the only thing, like, later, there might have been a time when I would have normally tried to kiss her, but I didn't want to. I didn't want her to smell the chicken parm oh, sandwich. Yeah. Oh, God. Right. You <laughs> taste that sandwich. You'd be busted. Yeah. I will say, if you're meeting for lunch, it would be a weird thing to do a kiss, I think, at the end of a lunch date. I just didn't want to risk it, you know? (laughs) You just feel guilty the whole time. Yeah, you're like, how's the sandwich? I've never had that before. (laughs) Is it good? I bet it tastes good. Yeah. (laughs) Did she seem into you at the end of everything? It just seemed like a nice time. I mean, that's why I'm trying to see, like, what might have happened. Like, mm. yeah, I thought she would definitely be responding to me. Like I said, she seemed like a nice person, but she was just totally ghosted me. And okay. I'm kind of trying to figure out which, maybe what part of it. Maybe she figured out that you ate her sandwich. I'd yeah. be pissed. Do you know how <laughs> pissed I'd be? <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I just hope that that's not it. Okay, well, we'll play a song and then come back and call her and get your second date update, all right? Okay. Okay, hang on. Moving 92.5. <laughs> Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings, second date update. 
If you're just tuning in to today's second date update, Daniel is on the phone and he thinks he might not be getting a call back from a girl named Kristen because he met her and he was actually 60 pounds heavier than his profile picture mm. because apparently he lived with his mom for a little while and gained a bunch of weight because his mom likes to cook with butter. That was his excuse. So, <laughs> But also he ate half her sandwich too on the date. <laughs> so we're about to find out if either one of those is the issue. All right, Daniel, you ready to give her a call? Yes. I'm just going to say, if it's really because you ate half of her sandwich, she's got to see the humor in it. I don't think that there's a woman alive that hasn't been super hungry at some point and felt like she couldn't eat what she wanted to. She should understand. I really hope so. I still feel like, wow, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to dial her phone number right now. Here we go, okay? Okay. Hello. Hi, may I speak to Kristen, please? Yes, this is Kristen. Kristen, how are you? This is Jubal from the radio show Brooke and Jubal in the Morning. Um, for real? Yeah, for I'm real. On a, I'm on the radio right now? I yeah. didn't say that. I just said this is Jubal calling from <laughs> Brooke and Jubal in the Morning. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Not much. What's going on with you? Just the usual. Um... I don't know you, so I have no idea what the usual is. <laughs> I'm actually, you know, just taking a break from work and stuff, yeah. and I got this call, uh, and a number. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll answer it. Um, you sound so nervous. You're, like, giggle nervous. <laughs> I, I am. I'm calling you today because we do a segment on our show. It's called The Second Date Update. That's where if you go out on a date with somebody and then don't call them back after, they can email us to get you on the phone and find out what happened. And we got an email about you from a dude named Daniel. From Daniel? Yep. Okay. Um, you remember going out with Daniel? Yes, I went on a date with Daniel. Right, and Daniel emailed us and told us about your date. He also said that you ghosted him after, and you guys aren't even talking anymore, and he wants to know if he did something wrong. He really liked you. He said that you guys had really good chemistry and lots of great conversation. What exactly do you guys know about the situation? Well, we know that you guys met online and that you met up for lunch. He said everything seemed to be great between you two. Uh, he he did say that he's a little heavier in person than his profile picture, and he thought maybe that was the reason. Yes, that is part of it, for sure. There were a lot of red flags, I'll tell you that. He, he said that you were super kind about it and that he explained that he had moved back into his mom's house for a while, he gained some mm -hmm. weight, and you were way understanding. I mean, look, I'm not judgmental, you know, and it just didn't seem like yeah, that's his issue, not mine, you know, so yeah. I'll just kind of listen. Okay, but you said red flags, so what red flags? Yeah, there were a lot of red flags. He started out with it. He's living with his parents with no explanation, and he ordered a salad, and I ordered, know, what was it, like a sandwich, but, you know, not worried about my weight or anything, but he kept insisting that I would eat a salad. What? So he just, like, kept going try my salad, try my salad. When I finally said no, he just said, okay, fine, and slammed his fork down on the table. Whoa. Oh, that's aggressive. aggressive. Yeah. I was like, whoa, dude, whoa. Okay, red flag. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But then after that, the worst part is he kept berating me about my food that I ordered. How? Well, I ordered an, I think it was an eggplant parmesan, I believe, and it's just not as healthy as his salad, I guess. So he just kept going, that's unhealthy. Do you know how many carbs are in that? Do you know how much calories are in that? What? I'm like, just let me enjoy my half a sandwich. Oh. You know, what the heck? The guy who shows up 60 pounds heavier than his picture is food shaming you over what you should and should not be eating. I don't know. Maybe he was trying to make himself feel better because he wasn't allowed to have it, but it didn't come off well to me. Oh. Yeah, I didn't even get dessert because I already knew what was going on. And I said, no. And he pressured me to get the cheesecake. What? He pressured you to get cheesecake after all that i don't know if he was upset because he started to cry and walk what? away no wait cry because cry. you wait cry because you wouldn't order the cheesecake or because it was coming and he didn't eat any uh, because i wouldn't order the cheesecake at this point i was like no oh, he's just gonna shame me more to try to eat my cheesecake i want to enjoy it you know uh, but when he started to cry and walk away i was like very confused like is he coming back is he skipping out on the bill but <laughs> He came back and he paid the bill and, you know, we said goodbye and I, I didn't think I'd hear from him because I'd be embarrassed if I did that, you know, mm -hmm. but since then I received a bunch of texts and one of them would just put me over the edge. It was asking for money for the bill since what? he said he only ordered salad. 
And I'm like, what's with this guy? I mean, no matter what, if you go on a date with someone and you pay, it's pretty bad for him to Venmo him after and be like, hey, you owe me for that. Yeah, I mean, red flag city. And look, I have only so many heartbeats in my life. And why waste them on someone that would it wouldn't benefit either of us? Like I'm not yeah. interested. Yeah, I can well, see why you actually ghosted him. Like yeah. he, I wouldn't give him any explanation either. I wouldn't give him any more of my time. Makes sense, Kristen. But can you give him a few more minutes because he's actually on the other line listening and wants to talk to you? <laughs> what? what? Sorry. Yeah. If unless he hung up, Daniel, are you still there? I'm still here. Daniel. <laughs> oh my god. Kristen, hey, wow, I can't believe I'm hearing what I'm hearing. Like, you know I'm on a diet, and it's just like, I don't know, if you've ever been on one, it's like, it really messes with your head. So, like, I thought you would understand what I'm going through. I can't empathize with what you're going through. Uh, the other factors are the reasons, not the fact that you're on a diet or you look differently. You right. know, you obviously are, you've got your own issues and you need to deal with those. Those aren't on me. Yeah. Okay, look, 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 look. I'll explain the salad thing and what really happened, okay? Okay. Well, what happened? Well, basically, you went to the bathroom and you had your chicken parm sandwich there and I tried it and then <laughs> it was... I basically ate half of the sandwich. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? You ate my food? <laughs> well, I was weak with hunger. I guess I didn't realize. And right. You could have really told good. me. <laughs> well, I guess I could have. I just felt really oh. bad. I'm really sorry. I didn't okay, mean but to Daniel, that doesn't explain the anger over her not trying your salad, yeah. does it? Well, I just felt so guilty about the sandwich that I just really wanted her to eat the salad, and then I would just feel like we were even, you know? Okay. <laughs> so you got mad at her. Oh, my God. Because she didn't make you feel better because she didn't eat any of your salad. Well, I didn't get mad at her. It was just, like, the hunger, like, the low blood sugar. Oh. Like, I was, like, hangry, you know what I mean? The you hunger were... got mad at her. Oh. Did the hunger make you cry over dessert, too? <laughs> yeah, what was that? It had to be. I mean, like, I must have severe low blood sugar count. Dude, you cannot blame being a total a-hole on your date on just being hungry. I don't think you get it, though. Like, three days of no carbs? Like, I don't even know what I was saying. You know what I mean? It's pretty intense. Whoa. You quite obviously need some help, Daniel. You really do. You need to go see a dietitian, a therapist, or something. You need to be honest <laughs> with yourself. I, mean, I just need a hamburger, not a therapist. I need a <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, well, I maybe mean, eat a hamburger then, man. Daniel, what she's trying to say is try a different diet. If you can't function as a normal person not eating carbs, then maybe that's not the right avenue for you to lose weight. Maybe you need to lace that hamburger with some psychotropic medication and make you feel better. I don't know. Later, there's dating sites for this, you know, but I'm not on that. Is there a dating site for people who get really angry over food? I'm yeah. sure there is. It's probably. Yeah, something like that. Right. You guys are looking at this the whole wrong way. Like, I'm doing a good thing, and you're seeing me, like, struggle through the worst right here. So, like, it's only going to get better from here. I'm going to oh. get, like, oh. better looking and more control of this. So, you know what I mean? Like, oh. nice. Okay. Well, in that case, Kristen, would you like to go out with Daniel on a second date? We'll pay for it. He's getting better. You know what they say, date an angry chubby guy marry a really stable hot guy mm, i think i'd wait till the chubby guy gets stable and then try to date him <laughs> well okay fine you don't have to be such a about it oh, damn. I, uh, i'm sorry i'm just like honestly like i haven't even eaten anything today yet so <laughs> okay there oh, it is okay God, no. Daniel, I'm sorry, no second date, man, but go get... As far as I'm concerned, just go shove a carrot up your behind and leave me alone. Yeah, sh shove a carrot in your behind and a donut in your mouth or something so you get some carbs and yeah. calm down. You guys just aren't, like, getting that. I mean, I mean, seriously, no one's listening to me. Whoa. Whoa, Whoa buddy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm, oh, my God, I'm just, like feeling kind of like dizzy and weak because i seriously have not I have like oh my god like i had like a canned peach earlier it's like oh i i'm so sorry peach what one? kind of diet are you on <laughs> broken jubal in the morning the text in at 78592 says i'm on a diet so i really understand where this guy's coming from <laughs> Poor thing. talking about today's second date update this dude daniel wanted to call this girl named Kristen. He's on a strict diet, and while they were out on their date, he actually ate half of her sandwich while she was in the bathroom, <laughs> and he thought that might have been a turnoff for her. But when we called her, we found out the problem was, in fact, Daniel's diet. She didn't notice that half of her sandwich had been gone while she was in the bathroom, but Daniel was constantly telling her how unhealthy her chicken parm sandwich was. <laughs> he that he ate half of. <laughs>
and then literally started crying when she didn't order the cheesecake. Uh, on, yeah, just eat something. Yeah, yeah you sounded this is hungry. Not, this is not a diet that's going to work for you. On obviously. top of his wild behavior at the dinner table, a few days later, he contacted Kristen asking her to Venmo him half of the bill because oh, he only got man. a salad. He blames his behavior on his diet. Yeah, that's what it is. Says his mood swings will be worth it in the end if once he's all slimmed down. Oh, man, if he can survive. Yeah. yeah. She said she'd rather date a stable chubby guy than an unstable skinny one, so yeah. no second date. Remember, if you want to do a second date update, just email the show, and we'll call the person who didn't call you back.